Hello, my name is David Krug and I'm a full-time instructor of accounting here at Johnson County Community College. And the reason we are making this video, and I appreciate you watching it, is this is a short video for those thinking about taking my Accounting 1 class that's traditionally been called a telecourse. Now, I don't know if in the future it'll be called a telecourse because more and more students are watching it online. And so we're kind of switching it over to an online class. However, I've been asked a lot of questions from students who are thinking about taking it that we thought this short video would be helpful just to answer the questions that I'm most commonly asked. Now let me be clear, this is not the video for those enrolled in the class about class syllabus, class policies, those sort of things. Once you enroll, that will be a separate video that you will watch. This is simply for those thinking about taking what has been known as my Accounting One traditional telecourse. Okay? So let's go through the questions real quick that I, uh, I get asked most commonly. Number one, how is this class different from a regular Accounting One class taught at JCCC? Okay, good question. The way that that is going to be different is if you take a class, a face-to-face -face class at JCCC, you're going to be in a classroom. There's going to be people here. Um, there'll be a lecture. You work on stuff in class. People ask questions. I answer the questions. I assign homework to do for the next period. Then we go over it. Everything is exactly the same with this class. I'm going to call it a tele telecourse, even though it's more of just a media or an online course. But everything is exactly the same except we're filming it. So you as the student will watch the lectures on YouTube or you can check it out at DVD or it's, it is shown on the telecable or the, uh, the cable TV that the, the college has. But you will just watch the class. It'll be like you are here in the classroom. Students, there's nobody here now, but normally there's students here. They'll ask questions. I'll answer them. I assign them homework that will then go over the next period and you watching this at home will do the, do the homework as well and you will have it done and we'll go over it together. Okay, So in a lot of ways it's just like if someone came into a face-to-face -face class and filmed it. But what it works really, really well for is for the person who likes face-to-face -face classes but their schedule, perhaps work or family, doesn't allow them to take a traditional face-to-face -face class. But they don't want to take a traditional online course where they maybe just read. This is a great hybrid between that because it's going to feel like a face-to-face -face class that you can uh, take and watch at your convenience and according to your schedule. Uh, next question. How do I view the lectures? Most people view these now, currently, on YouTube. They watch them online on their computer. Now there was a day, and this is why I still call it a telecourse, there was a day where most people watched this on the cable TV channel. But now, through the advent of YouTube and through technology and clearer screens and those sort of things, most of my students watch it online. They can watch it anytime that they want. Okay? You can also, if you'd like, check out the DVDs from the library or, of course, you can watch the cable TV channel. But most of my students are going to go to YouTube and watch these lectures. And once they enroll, I show them exactly where to go to do that. The next question, where can I buy the textbook? Well, if and when you enroll for the class, I'll tell you what textbooks you need and where to buy those. Uh, you can even buy an e-book, and I'll talk to you about that once and if and when you take the class. But you can even buy an ebook if you want, so that you can just view it on your screen at home. So you don't have to live near the JCCC campus to come in and purchase a textbook. There's other ways to do that. How am I graded? The most common question I get is, how, how do you grade my homework that I do in this class? Well, there's two types of homework that I do. But the homework that I assign for the students and then I go over the next class period, you don't get graded on that. I'm not going to come to your home and make sure you did the homework and grade it. Okay? You are mainly graded on tests that you'll take. Now there is a separate type of homework that we use with an online system and that's also uh, worth some points. And I'll talk to you more about that if and when you enroll. But 
you do not email me your homework. I don't grade it and email it back. It's up to you to have the discipline to do the homework that I assign these students so that when we watch the next lecture, you'll have it done and we can go over it just like you knew if you were in a face-to-face -face class. This, this question goes along with what we just answered. How do you collect my homework? The homework that you see these stu students working on and writing down, I don't collect it. You do not email it to me. You're not graded on it. Uh, the only homework that you will be graded on is a separate online homework system that we have in the class that is uh, not as large a proportion as the regular homework. So, Where do I take the test? Do I take the tests online or on the web? No, you do not take the tests online. And uh, a lot of traditional online classes, it's completely online. Mine's a little different, though. You do have to come to the JCCC campus to take the tests. Now, I usually allow a week window where you can take it any time during that week. The testing center is open on weekends. It's open even after 5 p.m. So there's quite an opportunity of finding a time to take that exam. We have four exams and then a final exam that students have to take. So they'll have to come to JCCC campus five times. The reason I don't do online tests, however, is because there's some things I test over, such as preparing financial statements, making journal entries, that it's very hard to uh, administer that via an online test. So uh, I still have my students come to the JCCC Testing Center to take their tests. I don't live anywhere near JCCC campus. Does this mean I cannot take this course? And every now and then, I will even have a student who lives in a different state or a different country that wants to take the course. Well, they can't come to the JCCC Testing Center. Can they still take the course? Very possibly, yes, you can. What we've done in some situations uh, for people who are in other states or in other countries is you do take a test, and this is the written test, I usually email that to you, and you have to have a proctor or a testing center at a different uh, university or college kind of administer that. Sometimes that's a little additional fee to you, the student, but I have had students who've wanted to take this course, and they were willing to pay that, but they were, they were not able to come to the JCCC testing center. So just because you're out of state or out of the country does not mean you cannot take this. We'll just have to email and discuss the specifics for you. What if I need extra help in this course? Am I available? Yes. For those who live here locally, uh, you can come to campus during my office hours. There's tutoring here at the campus. Those are all uh, resources available to you. If you don't live near the campus, then what you can do is um, you, it'll be through email that, we, that I help you. But certainly you're not just on your own. I'm here to help you, whether you're a face-to-face -face student or taking this as a telecourse. Next question. Can I succeed in this class? Well, that's a great question, and it's really only one that you can answer. Um, I can tell you I don't uh, diminish the material I go over versus a face-to-face -face class. It's not dumbed down. It's not changed at all. This can be a very, very good class to help you in your accounting and business education. However, you do need the discipline to take this class. I have students enroll in this class sometimes, and unfortunately, I'm not there face to face in their living rooms to remind them to do their homework. They're kind of anonymous, and so they don't watch the lectures. They don't do the homework, and then it comes time for them to take that test, and they do horribly. Okay. So if one does not have the discipline to do an online class, they probably should not take it. However, if you have the discipline, as most of my students do, to watch the lectures, to do the homework I'm asking you to do, even though I'm not going to collect it from you, if you have that discipline, this can be an excellent way to learn accounting. It's really mainly up to your learning style. Next question. Okay, I'm ready to enroll for this course. How do I do it? All you do is go to the JCCC website, which is www.jccc.edu, and there's a big enroll button. 
that you can push that and it'll start you on the process of enrolling for this course. In the end, if there's any more questions, I just want you to email me, but those are by far the most common questions I have about this class. I hope you decide to take it if it's going to work well for you, and if and when you enroll, we'll certainly go more specifically over class policies that you'll uh, undergo during this semester. So thank you very much, and I hope you enroll. Bye-bye.